Hello again. Uh, so this is uh, the assessment problem uh, 4.16 in which we have to find the Thevenin equivalent of uh, this circuit. Okay, so what is basically uh, the Thevenin circuit? So Thevenin circuit of Thevenin equivalent of this circuit will be written like a single a circuit which will be composed of the uh, voltage source which is called VTH Thevenin voltage and is similar um, RTH which is described in such a way that the at the terminal A and B the same circuit can be depicted okay so the same circuit which is here that means look at it like this one the same circuit will be uh, modeled like this one okay so that is the uh, Thevenin equivalent circuit and in internally we can represent the overall resistances of this circuit as the RTH and the uh, voltage open circuit voltage across these two terminals will be VTH so we have to uh, represent this circuit uh, like this one okay so uh, what we have to do now we have uh, to find out the values of VTH and RTH what will be the value of VTH so VTH is basically the uh, open circuit voltage okay uh, in our circuit and what is basically the RTH and the value of RTH is basically the open circuit voltage across the terminals okay uh, which we are going to consider divided by open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit uh, current okay so it will basically be uh, let me call it V naught and this will be here V naught divided by ISH okay. so we have to find out these values so in order to find out the values VTH and RTH we have to look at the circuit and again we have to decide ourselves that which is the feasible method for finding the values of the open circuit voltage and the short circuit uh, current across the terminals okay so this is our original circuit and here the terminals A and B are already uh, open circuited so here we can uh, use many methods but um, as I uh, can see here the mesh current method will be uh, convenient here uh, to deploy because here I will get two currents and from that currents I will easily find out I, uh, the values of VAB which will be equal to the VTH or V0 which is the open circuit current. So um, in order to find the uh, uh, open circuit current of VTH let me deploy the mesh current method okay. so in mesh current method uh, here I have to, let me consider here two meshes the first one is this one and let me consider uh, suppose I one current here and the second mesh is here this one and here the current is I2 let's say the third one cannot be considered as a mesh because it is not um, a mesh because the two terminals here are open circuited so we cannot call it a mesh okay so now in order to analyze it uh, let me uh, use a very simplified um, analysis here because we know the overall process here and so that's why I'm analyzing the shortcut ways here I'm uh, analyzing it by using the shortcut uh, steps here so in uh, loop number one or in mesh number one in mesh number one uh, the values here will be uh, seven uh, the, uh, all the resistors connected with this one are 25 I1 and the uh, resistor which is shared between the two meshes is this uh, 5 ohm so that would be minus 5 I2 which is equal to this voltage source and that is the voltage rise so let me call it equation num number one in uh, mesh number two which is 
represented with this uh, green color so here again the same register is shared between the match number two and one so that's why i will represent i will uh, write it with the uh, negative uh, sign so that is minus uh, 5 i1 and similarly here the overall registers here are 5 plus 8 plus 12 so it would be 25 i2 and that is equal to 0 and let me call it equation number so in order to find the values of i1 and i2 here okay so in order to find the values of i1 and i2 um, let me move down and leave this uh, side as it is so now uh, here uh, let me multiply equation uh, number 2 with 5 and then adding it with equation number 1 what I will get here the same equation 25 I 1 minus 5 I 2 equal to 72 this is my equation number 1 and multiplying 5 with, 5 with equation number 2 will be minus 25 I 1 uh, plus 125 I 2 equal to 0 and now adding them together these two will cancel out and here I will get 120 uh, i2 and similarly it is now 72 uh, okay this is now 72 and similarly the value of i2 is 72 by 120 which is 0.6 amperes okay so the value of i2 is 0.6 amperes uh, the same value is taken from here and put it into uh, the equation number 2 and putting in equation number 2 I will get minus 5.6 plus 25 I2 equal to 0 okay um, sorry this is 125 uh, no this is 25 here sorry uh, so now uh, putting values here what I will get uh, I will get here sorry this is the value of I2 I made a mistake here so the value of uh, minus 5 I1 uh, plus 25 into 0 0.6 equal to 0 and uh, solving a, this equation I will get here I1 equal to the minus 3 amperes okay so that is the value of I1 so I1 and I2 these two uh, values are now known okay uh, so now we can see here that uh, the voltage VAB here VAB which is the open circuit voltage is basically equal to the V8 plus V20 okay these are basically uh, two voltages the plus minus and similarly plus minus uh, so the same current is here which is uh, the i1 and the same current i2 is here so um, there uh, uh, the cumulative voltage vab here will be the summation of uh, v8 and v20 so um, writing it here both are the voltage rises sorry this was uh, the plus 3 ampere if we calculate it okay this is uh, basically plus 3 ampere because of the um, this so now uh, when i will call it the value of vab is equal to v naught and that is equal to v8 plus v20 okay uh, what is the value of v8 the value of v8 is uh, i2 multiplied by 8 and the value of v20 is i1 multiplied by 20 so 8 multiplied by i2 plus 20 multiplied by i1 okay these are the currents which are flowing through the resistances of the respective values so putting the values here 8 and the value of i2 here is 0.6 so that is now 0.6 and the value of uh, i1 is 3 so uh, now adding them and finding out all the things here i will get here 
volts and this is now VAB which is the open circuit voltage and we can also call it VTH okay so this is the known open circuit voltage and that's it uh, similarly in order to find the value of RTH I have to find out the value of the short circuit current so in order to find the short circuit current let me use a short circuit here okay so that is the uh, short circuit here uh, when this uh, circuit is short circuited uh, here what I will get here I will get a circuit like this one here okay this is a circuit now and these term two terminals are shorted here this is 20 ohm resistor this is 8 this is 5 this is 12 while this is my voltage here so 72 uh, 72 volts so now i can see here that here we have uh, this essential uh, node which can be called a, the uh, reference node here and now here when this is selected as a reference node so the two voltages here will be known okay so if i call this one as a v1 and i call this one as v2 okay so i can easily see here that the value of v1 here is 72 volts and the value of v2 is uh, zero volts okay it is clearly understandable from this side so i can see that uh, we just have i just have to find out the value of this voltage here and i call it uh, v3 okay so uh, these voltages are given so i can easily find out the value of v3 by using uh, the method which is called the node voltage method um, uh, similarly uh, as contrary to as contrary to this if i use the mesh current method then i have to select three meshes i will get three equations and solving the solving three equations is very tedious uh, task so um, here the convenient math convenient method is the node voltage method so um, you have to decide which method you are going to use because it would save a lot of your time and your energy okay so now here i have to use the uh, node voltage method so therefore v3 here will be equal to the three currents here are passing these are the three currents this is i1 this is i2 and this is i3 so according to the kcl i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 okay so uh, now putting uh, values here the value of uh, i1 is v3 minus v1 divided by 5 and the value of v1 is uh, already given which is 72 so uh, it would be v3 minus 72 divided by 5 similarly the value of i2 is v3 divided by uh, this 2 uh, 20 so v3 divided by 20 plus what is value of um, i3 i3 is the potential difference which is v3 minus v2 divided by 8 v2 is already known here so we can see here that this, uh, it is 0 so now i will get v3 divided by 8 equal to zero okay so so now let me simplify it and why am i uh, doing all this this is uh, for the um, short circuit current okay so this is the ish okay uh, so now uh, let me find the LCM here when I will find LCM here. I will get 40 so uh, 40 here is basically uh, now multiplying this term um, uh, Multiplying this term with the 40 I will get uh, 8 v3 minus 8 multiplied by 72 is 576 similarly uh, multiplying this whole term with the 40 I will get the Two uh, v three, two and it will be multiplied with v three. Similarly, eight 
this one and I will get here 5v3 which is equal to 0 and now um, a to 15 v3 15 v3 is equal to the 576 or the value of v3 is here uh, which is calculated uh, 38.4 volts that is the value of v3 here okay so we have found out uh, the value of v3 here and we can easily see that uh, here we have to find out the value of this current which is ish okay so that is the current we have to find out for so for this current uh, here we have two currents which are coming towards this node and let me call them i1 uh, i12 and this one is let me call it i8 okay so now the value of i s edge is equal to the i8 plus i12 okay uh, do i know the value of i12 uh, i12 and i8 no because uh, i don't have their values but i know the values of the voltages at to each uh, node here so the value of i8 is v uh, v3 minus v2 divided by 8 so uh, the value of v3 is known uh, that is the 38 uh, or let me write it here so v3 minus v2 divided by 8 and similarly the value of i12 is v1 minus v2 divided by the 12 okay so that are the uh, values here so now let me calculate the value of i s edge here so uh, writing their values the value of uh, v uh, 3 is 38.4 the value of v2 is 0 that's why this is 8 plus v1 minus v2 the value of v1 is 72 the value of v2 is again 0 so that here i will get 12 so the value of ish i will get here uh, that would be 10.8 amperes okay so that is the value of my uh, ish so now i have found out uh, the values of v naught i have the value of ish uh, can i uh, find can i find the value of rth and that is very easy to find out the value of rth is basically the v naught divided by ish so i have the value of v naught which is 64.8 i have the value of ish which is uh, 10.8 so finding its value i will get here 6 ohm okay so that is the value of rth so now going towards our equivalent circuit here so the same circuit has been designed in a way that the uh, has been transformed into a simple circuit in which the value of a series resistor is 6 ohm and the value of vth is basically uh, equal to the 64.8 volts so that is the answer of this question let me draw it clearly here Uh, let me draw it clearly here so this will be the uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit these are two terminals a b the value of uh, rth is 6 ohm and the value of uh, vth here is the 64.8 volts and that is the answer of this question so in this question we have uh, seen how to represent a very complicated circuit with a very simplified version of uh, a circuit uh, by using the Thevenin, uh, Thevenin theorem so that's it and um, we will proceed in these type of questions in our upcoming videos till then take care of yourself and thank you so much